George Soros endured a monstrous heart assault while examining another personnel working at his private college in Budapest, Hungary on Sunday morning, as indicated by Hungarian reports. Soros had been griping of extreme acid reflux and foggy reasoning in the early hours of the day, as indicated by reports, and started to feel unwell while meeting staff in the new personnel building, declaring that the hand of God has seized me by the neck. Rejecting proposals he was responding severely to his customary Christmas Eve noon dinner, Soros lurched outside looking for natural air, before falling simply outside the exercise center of the Central European University. The globalist extremely rich person, who as of late gave $18 billion to universal liberal causes, crumbled against a divider, before drooping to the ground where he was discovered lying on his side, fussing delicately. Snappy reasoning activities via prepared exercise center staff spared Soros life and master CPR helped the 87-year-old very rich person survive and maintain a strategic distance from mind harm, as indicated by reports in Hungary's liberal media. Following 15 minutes of CPR the paramedics arrived and assumed the control. Soros was given the defibrillator three times and they figured out how to restart his heart and take him to a private home where he where he experienced triple coronary vein sidestep surgery. Soros' private heart expert has supposedly given the world's most liberal giver to radical causes a little more than 33% possibility of survival and cautioned the octogenarian he may require an implantable cardioverter defibrillator ICD, in his chest to manage his heart. The heart failure has started fears in liberal circles for the Hungarian-American budgetary theorist. Neither the Soros family or the Open Society Foundation has freely remarked on George Soros' condition.